Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. In the previous one, we found possibly the best team comp ever. Maybe? It might genuinely be one of the best team comps that I've ever seen. It was frankly quite amazing how unbelievably well that went. Um, so I was really happy about that. Um, we got some good stuff. We're starting to build up money. I'm kind of planning on just saving money up for a while so that we can amass lots using the bank with our interest, the 5% interest. And hopefully that'll get us a lot and then we can start doing all of our upgrades. But we're really getting there. We've got a lot to do coming forward. We've got new bosses to go against and all that sort of stuff. So I'm maybe going to put together a little group to go and do a boss today. I'm not 100% sure. We'll see what awaits for us. And I do think we have a backstory to get into as well. So let's get into that now. Here we are in the cursed estate and we have a banished hunter in our midst now. And we're actually full. So as we start to introduce people now, we're going to actually have to use some of our hard earned busts and things. I think it's busts, isn't it? Uh, no, no, it's not. It's uh, crests and deeds to increase our barracks size. And we should increase the number of heroes coming in, in actually. Let's let's do that now. And we'll work around that as we come to it. We can do some trading. But that's going to be really good because uh, it just means more people that are hopefully higher level. And that's going to be really good for us. Um, and we're going to be hoping to get some... I um, think we can get up to level 3s. Oh, yeah, level 3s now. Well, we're going to be wanting to get in level 4 soon as well by upgrading these bits and bobs here. But that's going to take... Quite some time, I would imagine. Quite some time. We've got a long ways to go before we get there. Um, but yeah, we'll upgrade that as when necessary. But yes, this is Manold, our banished hunter. This is a backstory by T.E.A. Manold is a retired city guard from the city of Am Amadis. He was a high rank. He was high ranking and was often in charge of operations near the city walls. One night there was an attack. Shouting was heard. Swords were drawn. A beast were at the gates, and it was tearing men apart. Manold gathered his team and led the charge against the beast, driving it off. He got good enough a good enough look at it to tell where it was. Tell what it was. Oh my god, I'm butchering this so bad. To tell what it was, a werewolf, and he knew it had to be slayed before it attacked again. Over the course of a few days, he planned the hunt with a hand-picked group of guards and some willing militia. They went into the forest tracking the beast, and they found it backed up against the cliff wall. It fought viciously, and eventually it fell to Manold's blade. But it was a costed victory. Manold was the only survivor, and what's worse is that he was bitten during the battle. He left the city the same night, and for the next two years, he bounced from town to town, searching for doctors of any kind that could help him. They did the best they could, delaying the beast from taking over, but never fully curing it. Finally, he made it to the hamlet. He heard of all the occult practices and medical professionals there, and thought this may, the, may be the best place where he can find a cure. He can only hope. But yeah, this sounds really good. The Banish Hunter sounds like a, such a cool class as well. Because basically he's got all these different skills that affect different types of enemies. So basically depending on where we go depends on how we play him. We've got things here that does extra damage versus Bloodsuckers. Uh, we've got some really cool stun opportunities. We've got extra damage versus um, Eldritch. Extra damage versus Beast. Extra accuracy versus humans, extra damage against different size rankings, and then we've also got a stun repost as well. So I'm really interested in this guy. I think he could be pretty damn fun to play as, as well. And we're going to be putting him in position 3 most of the time. That's why I built up his skills like this for now, because he's got this here. Swift Striker, plus 2 speed, plus 5 crit. Um, so I think that's going to be really, really useful. And I am, I yeah, I'm super, super happy with this and also the plus five crit versus bleeding does synergize a bit with this whenever we get the chance to use it so i'm gonna try and do that and i think this could be pretty darn good pretty darn good uh man old here is probably going to be coming out on our next adventure with us we did have a look here didn't we we haven't got anything that we really want to buy we do have a banished hunter thing here the old man's blunderbuss so he does have a skill here called blunderbuss this has uh, got a one round cooldown it deals splash damage to enemies or at least has a chance to um it does less damage against rank 3, uh, but it does damage against size 2 of increased amounts. So that's really, really nice. Let's have a little look at this. So that's going to be a plus 20% uh, stun chance versus size 2. Blunderbuss stun goes up to 120% from... Oh, wait. Blunderbuss doesn't have a stun percent, so that gives it a stun percent. Uh, it lowers the Blunderbuss's damage, and it adds a repulsed bleed... 
Interesting. So it makes Blunderbuss less of a less of a um, damaging attack and more of a stun chance, and it changes his repose from less of a stun chance to more of a bleed chance. Do you know what? I know it's expensive and we're trying to save up money, but I'm going to take that because I think we can make really good use of that, you know? Uh, let's just sort these out by rarity. Uh, I think we can make really good use of this, and we're going we're gonna to bring him out today, I think. Um, even though we want to be saving up money, I think that's going to be really good. So we'll bring him out. He definitely is in position three. Uh, he is only a level two, so we do have to be careful. We'd preferably like to go on a level two mission here. Um, and we've got to the point now where we are only getting our bosses at level three here. The Alluring Siren, Onslaught, extra damage, extra damage on that, less move resist. On melee attack, buff self with, um... Speed and on range attack bluff self with pro. That's kind of interesting. I like that. Um, and then we can get the command orders, which is better stress healing received and better healing skills, which is kind of interesting, making kind of an off healer. Um, but I want to be I want to be looking around here for as much as we can. Never virtue. Interesting. Interesting. Um, short mission veteran level three, long apprentice. We've got ourselves a medium adventure here. Uh, it gives less melee skill damage, but um, extra crits and extra armor piercing. That could be interesting, especially with an off-balanced amount of crit there. So maybe we'll go with that. Maybe we'll go with that. So let's have a look. Who do we want to bring out with us here? So we'll, 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 we'll go with this one here to start with, and maybe after that we'll go for a boss. Um, we definitely need to be getting onto a boss, but I kind of want your guys' advice as much as possible in putting together some good parties, because these bosses are significantly harder than the ones we previously fought. And some of you may not know, this is actually going to be my first time fighting the next stage of bosses. I've played this game a decent amount off camera, but I, I very rarely play it all the way through, and so this will be my first time going to those bosses here. So we're going to do explore 90% of rooms. I think we'll take Matthew as well. Um, Matthew does pretty well behind. And getting him having that bleed synergy I think is going to be pretty good. So I'll have him just bleeding everything. Get you back there. Um, then I think we'll go with... Who should we go with next? We could get Feltha up front. Feltha up front's pretty good. I like that. And she also has the... Um, Bleeding, which is going to be really nice. And then we kind of need a, a healer, or at least an off healer, to, to go with these guys. We're kind of running out of healers, to be honest. Um, we'll take Annie with us. Uh, Annie does... Annie doesn't do great from that position, though. Um, yeah, we, we might need to mix the positions around a little bit. Maybe we'll not take Matthew. Oh, actually... Actually, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Need to think about this. Matthew, can you... Can you use... Yeah, you can use both of these from that position. You, The one thing you can't do is you can't do your crying uh, thingy. So let's go with the targeted whistle then to lower prot instead. And then you work fine from that position. Right, let's trinket everyone up. So we're going to be wanting big damage on Feltha here. Feltha's um, going to be kind of our main damage dealer. So I think on Feltha we go with... Let's have a little look. Accuracy and crit. Yeah, let's 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 just buff her crit a lot, like as much as possible. Uh, what else can we do to buff crit? I think we can go with the boots, can't we? Uh, where are they? There they are. That's more crit, more damage. Yeah, I don't I don't mind losing a bit of speed for some crit there. Then you, we probably want to get some extra bleed chance going. If we can, I think we do have some stuff that adds bleed chance. 20% bleed chance versus marked. Okay, that's all versus marked. That's not going to be too useful for us. Um, let's have a look, shall we? What have we got for bleeding here? I swear we have a few things for bleeding. There we go. 20% bleed... Uh, actually, yeah, okay. So let's let's have a little look at his skills a moment. So we'd, we're going to be getting extra bleed there. Extra bleed there. The debuff chance is 140%, but that would basically make it guaranteed... Um, because he'd be getting an extra 20%. Um, what's the base bleed chance on both of these? 110, 120. That's, that's already relatively high. Maybe, maybe instead, I mean, he does have a self-heal, so we don't really need the healing on him. It's, it's difficult to think what we might need here, really. It really is. Um, debuff chance, damage reflection. 
and maximum HP reduction. Maybe for this guy we'll take less stress and extra resolve XP. I know it's kind of a cop-out, or, or at least a little bit of a cop-out to go with something like that. But I feel it could be good, or should we maybe go with... Actually, let's, yeah, let's let's not take the less stress. Let's in ta instead take the scouting chance and go with that. And the resolve XP is just going to help out later on. Uh, and then you, you've you got your extra stun chance and your bleed repurst. So what else do we really need on you that'd be great? Also, if we could get the, um, if we could get the combo synergy for this, that'd be great. So we need to look out for that. The blunderbuss, extra crit and repurst crit and crit versus beast. That'd be so good. So probably range skill damage or accuracy on you would be good. So I don't, I don't think we have anything legendary that's going to really help with that. Uh, we could get the extra crits and then crits versus marked, although that would be a slightly more crits received. Do you know what? Let's go with this. Let's sl slightly reduce his maximum HP, but up his speed and give him a little bit more damage versus marked, maybe. I think that's pretty decent. Trying to think what else could be really good on him. And then we, we know what we're going with with you. We have... Um... Oh, actually, okay. So we'll go. we'll go, definitely go with that. And we'll definitely go with that. This is obvious. But instead of the marbles, let's let's do this. Let's put that there. Let's grab this. So we're going to be really bad on the first round. We're going to get crazy accuracy and speed after the first round. But for the first round, we're going to be pretty much going last. But I, th I kind of think that's okay. We're probably going to miss our first attack. Let's try this group out and see how this goes. See how this is going to hold up. And we do have a few diary entries coming in here for this one. Um, so we'll go through those in just a minute. So let's take ourselves. Is, is this a long mission or medium? Okay, it's only a medium, so we'll take 20. Uh, we'll take 20. Swap them around. Take four of them, then three of everything else. Whoopsie. I'm messing this up. Something chronic. Right. There you go. Okay, that should do us. And let's embark on an adventure. And yeah, we have a few diary entries here. We have one, uh, we have actually two here from uh, Cell, and this is for both Mars and Venus. So Venus is, is Mars, my brother. What kind of thoughts go on inside his head? And Mars says, I can see the way my sister looks at me, the way the others look at me. Even the lowest of the low heroes think of me as a simple beast, a slave to instincts, but I'm nothing but. I may not understand their emotions, but I do know that whatever they are fighting, for must be worth saving. That's a great one. Then we have another one here from Will June, and this is the um, the heir who came out with us last time. This is one by TEA. In the previous entry, I had mentioned an idol depicting two tentacles spir spiraling around each other, one that disappeared from my view, and today I saw it again, except now it is physical and tangible and powerful. It grants a boon of resilience, both for the body and mind. Its source I do not know. I'm hardly worried. Our performance last expedition was excellent. You're damn right about that, it was excellent. My god. Right, so we got to do 90% of rooms. I'll do these back two first, I guess. Oh, Brigand Treasurer. Brigand Treasurer. Kill that Treasurer. Kill that Treasurer. Okay, stun him. Great. Wow, that's a big bite. That's a big bite. <sighs> nice dodge there. This is Annie, isn't it? Yep. And Brigand Treasurer. No, he's got such high dodge. No, he's got such high dodge. God damn it. Got him. I got him. His loot is ours. Ooh, that was a that was a hard hit there. That was a hard hit on us. Let's get everyone. Ah, that's a huge hit on you. Punish. Okay, let's get a let's get a group heal going, shall we? Five on the group heal, that's really nice. Um silver bullets. Extra damage versus beast. Do that. Oh, the stun didn't pass. I don't know what happens if this body dies, by the way. Do we get the treasure if the body dies? I doubt I doubt that's how that works. I think we still will get the treasure. Okay, you're done. Definitely need some more healing, though. Health is getting lower than it should. So that's, that's died, but I don't think that matters. I think we should still get the stuff. 
Nice hit. Debuff his speed. Let's heal you. Oh, beautiful crit there, getting us up to full. Blanket fire. Only a small amount of damage. We should be able to heal. Yep, heal all of that off. Another crit. Wow. Very nice. Why can't we use Swan Song? Oh, he's not actually in the back. Okay. Makes sense. So we should hopefully get the loot here still. Do you know, I, I actually don't think we did because the body died. Like, let me just do one, some research one second. It actually sounds like, I just went and checked on the mod page, that I accidentally may have screwed us a little bit there. Because it says his chest, um, like, contains a plethora of loot for the estate, but we didn't get any loot. So, unless that gold was it. I mean, that, that was a lot of gold for defeating monsters, so that might have been it. But normally it contains trinkets, from what I understand. So, I'm not 100% sure if that worked out the way we wanted it to. Um, who do you want to stun here? Probably you, because you can deal big crits. Get you stunned. Do you know what? I didn't take the... Um, we have a trinket for her, don't we? For, for Vestal that adds way more healing than this. It's not a problem because we still added a lot of healing to uh, to Annie here. But we do have a specific Vestal trinket that we probably should have brought with us here. Nice crit. Fell for a nice crit. Let's uh, activate our parrying stance here. Get that repose going. Actually, on his first turn, admittedly, we should always activate Repost because he, he's really bad in his first turn. Nice strike and a stun. Finish you off. Nice one, Annie. Yes, nice dodge. And a stun. Oh, this is good. I'm liking this. Oh, another crit. Felthus doing amazingly. So yeah, we, we might have actually got the loot there. I might be wrong. It might have just been that you don't always get trinkets, but I, I was under the assumption that you always got trinkets. I'm probably just wrong, though. Because that was more... That was, like, a lot more loot than you'd normally get from one of those. Bit of food. That's nice. One of these. Put some bandages in that. Lovely. Something that I haven't really done yet, and you guys probably already noticed this, I haven't really been messing around with light levels. I've kind of just been sticking to maximum light at all times. Or most of the time, at least. And that definitely might be a mistake. I could possibly be getting more loot by lowering light levels. And if you guys have some more tips on how I could better play around with that, then please do leave them. I'm always open to suggestions on how I should be improving how I play. Um, We'll actually... We'll actually get that bleed off you straight away, you know. I don't want to deal with that. Don't be at low health for the next bit of combat here. And here we have an obstacle. So we have to go all the way around anyway, so we might as well go this way. You should be really good at trap disarm. You are indeed. Nice disarm there. Thank you, Matthew. You've done this You've done this group a great service. You really have. You have done this group a great service. And unfortunately, you didn't see that one, though. Not quite as good of a service this time. So I think we went with the scouting chance, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Scouting chance and resolve XP. Ooh, what is that thing? Bite it before it hits us. Wow, I've not seen one of these before. The ghoul. Um, it has high prop. We should have actually gone for the prop re uh, reduction. Doesn't It has 50% stun resistance. I'm going to try it anyways. Nice one. We got it. Great. I don't, I don't want to know what that thing does. Ooh, a crit on us there and a stun. That's not great. With a, with a pretty hefty bit of stress. Iron Swan there. Only hit for 11, unfortunately, which is probably our lowest roll on that attack, I think. Um, Thunderbus. Yeah, I love that. I love that, like, damage that it does to everything. That's really nice. Let's go for a group heal here. Get everyone topped up. This thing hasn't even got to attack yet. I'm loving it. Nice. Didn't even get to see what it does. That's what I like to see. And this should be this thing dead, shouldn't it? Yeah, 1 HP. Still, we'll slice it anyways. Liking the banish on it so far, though. Seems pretty cool. I think this trinket we got for it, like, right off the bat has really opened it up to a new style of play, which is interesting. Like, I wasn't really expecting that. I wasn't planning for it. Like, I didn't really know that trinket was there from last episode, but it's kind of cool to see that it is. We've, um... We've managed to get something pretty unique and different out of him and changed his play style around a little bit and turned him into a more stun-heavy character, which I think means that Manold will work really well with Rune, our Bogatir. I think, I think them two will function very, very well together. Okay, we've got a few blights on us here, but I think we should be fine. 
A accuracy on this group so far has been very, very good. Thank you for uh, demonstrating that there, Annie. Thank you very much. But for the most part, this has been a pretty accurate group. I like the fact that on crit, he gains damage reflection. That's really nice. Uh, I think you can manage... Yeah, you can you can handle that amount of blight, can't you? You're not going to be uh, too worried about that. Hey, we can get rid of a negative quirk here. So we've got Weedy. That's pretty annoying. We've got Filthy. Filthy's pretty bad. We've got Fragile. That's fine. And we've got Witness. Um, I think Witness is pretty bad. I don't know. Does Annie only pray? I don't think she does. Let, let's go with... um. Let's go with Weedy. Get rid of that. That's kind of annoying. There you go. Weedy's gone. Means that we can freely get rid of med medical herbs without actually worrying about what's going to do. Ooh, another new enemy. Okay, we're seeing a lot of new enemies. The large carrion eater beast. And this guy, the swine centurion. I'm a bit worried about this. I probably should have gone for the stun there more than the attack. I'm just going to hit this thing. Wow. 26 crit. That's huge. Uh, weakening prey. Uh, minus 40% damage. That's really bad. Yeah. We know that he's always going to miss on his first turn, so I'm not worried about seeing that, to be honest. Because we, we just, we know that you protect this thing and it starts fucking biting you. But we know that after that, he's going to get increased uh, accuracy and... Um, it's, it, what is it? Increased accuracy and increased speed. So I, I think I think genuinely this trinket's very, very good. As long as you don't need them on their first turn, especially with this guy. If we remember to set up the parry on his first turn, which admittedly I've been forgetting. But if we remember to do that, then it leads to some pretty good combos. And we, we're using our first turn probably for the best thing we could. Oh, unfortunately, we got deep blood there. Deep blood, as I remember, it's pretty bad. Um... We get extra dodge, which is lovely, but while below 50% HP, we get less stress and more stress healing, but above 50%, we actually gain more stress, so that's a, that's a bit annoying, that one. Uh, we'll go for another big heal on you. Yeah, I've got a bit of bleed on you there. Um, we'll just stab you. Getting crits quite a lot here, the Banish Hunter is. Manold is doing very well in that situation. Don't really want to bleed this thing, because it does gain new attacks, but we'll go for it. That thing isn't dead yet. Wow. We'll just do that. Finish you off. Um, we definitely will be carrying those. Let's get rid of both of them. Go with the key on that. And I genuinely, I don't, I don't really use the dog treats. So I'm just going to get rid. I know you want me to feed the doggy. I know, I know, but don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. One thing I have been noticing as of late, the groups we've been taking out on some of these earlier missions, camping really hasn't been that big of a of a priority, of a need, really. I like the fact that when we get into these higher level ones, we're seeing a lot of new enemies as well. It really makes the game a bit more interesting and, and different. I think I'm just going to go for a stun on this guy, because this guy can be a pain. Then Iron Swan on you. Iron Swan is such a good skill. Set up that parry. Stab him. Bit of bleed on uh, on you there, but that's okay. And you're dead. Gone. Felfa is, is just filthy. Felfa's filthy. She's doing amazing work. Absolutely insane. Nice one. Everyone in this group working together so damn well. Love it. I probably should have used them bandages on you there, shouldn't I? Um, right. This should be it, though. Going down here. We don't need to do those two back, two back rooms there. We, there's these two rooms we haven't been to yet, but I actually probably think we won't need to. Do that. Try and get bleed on everyone. Indeed, we did. It's only a, like a small amount of bleed, but it does help. Bit of stress coming out. Nice dodge. Bit more stress coming out. 18 stress on you. I did not mean to do that, but honestly, at least I picked the right person. Let's get rid of you. Crit for 31. Huge. And set up our parry. First turn. Always set up the parry. Because the thing is, he's always going to go last as well. And then... He's always going to go last, then always going to go first. So it kind of works out. Nice hit. I like that splash damage effect. It's cool. We seem to always hit for 5 on this as well, which is lovely. 
at you. Wow, the crits are coming out hot and heavy. Crits are coming out hot and heavy, I swear. Nice hit. Hey, we've got some more tapestry, uh, which we'll take in place of anti-venom. Don't need that. It's trapped. Luckily, we resisted. Nice disarm there. Cool. Return to Hamlet. I think that was a pretty good adventure there. We should get a decent level, a decent amount of XP, and we will get um, a level up on Matthew, I think. 17,000 from just that. Yeah, there you go. Matthew and Annie both leveled up. Which, Annie leveling up isn't a great thing, because now um, she can't come with us, but Matthew leveling up is pretty good. 20% uh, accuracy, damage, and crit on first round. That's actually really, really nice. I like that a lot. Return to town. De-trinket everyone. Ooh, we got the Scarecrow. Unfortunately, when, when they come in like this, they're always level zero, which is a real shame, because we can't really take them. Uh, let's just start by level. Let's de-trinket everyone. Unequip all trinkets, yes. And make sure everyone's out of the crew. Right, good, good, good. And let's see who we've got to bring on. Right, we got Plague Doctor. Wait a minute, let's start by level again. So level threes. We've already got a level three Grave Robber, so that's fine. And I think we already have a level three Plague Doctor. I'm not 100% sure. Their thoughts gone wandering. Where is our Plague Doctor? Oh, Isaac's here. Okay, so Isaac needs leveling up. Oh, wait. Okay. We need to, we need to do this, don't we? Right. Just, let's just make sure of something. Isaac. And let's check this guy. It'll take you anyways. Right, so Isaac, you can go. And then we bring on you. And rename you. Isaac. Cool, Isaac's up to level three. Great stuff. Um, no one else we really want to take here, so we don't need to upgrade our roster size yet. Let's check the trinkets available. Cannoneer one. I like seeing these, these tarot cards, the Hierophant, things like that. They're really useful. Uh, this, that's some extra stress healing. Everything else there isn't of too much value. We do have some of these that we could, t um, really, we could do with taking. Let's have a little look what we've got here. Uh, Musketeer, that's pretty good. Antiquarian, less stress, more debuff chance. Another Antiquarian, more blight and extra blight duration. Uh, mana arms, melee stun chance, move skill. On melee attack hit, base chance to stun. Wow. That's really good. That's really good. Uh, here we have a general one. Not great. Uh, Jester. Wow, that's really good. Um... And we got some more general ones here. Elyon. Okay, we got some interesting stuff there. I'm really interested in that Mana Arms one. Uh, I think we had another Mana Arms one, didn't we? Uh, but anyways, this Mana Arms one here looks really, really good. Um, extra stress, but you're getting melee skill damage and on melee attack hit stun 50% base chance. Unless that's stun self. I don't think it is, though. I think that's stun enemy. Well, that sounds, that sounds pretty darn good. Let's have a look at what we want to do for our next adventure. Um, Gentle Tide. What's this What's this Gentle Tide event? Town event, Gentle, Gentle Tide. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what that is. Uh, high roll of dice. 10, plus 10% 10 crits received is insane. Um... This is the Alluring Siren. So the way that Siren, this is the Siren works from what I remember is you want to bring someone with really low debuff resist so that they get stolen mainly. But you don't have to do that. But that could be a fun one to go on. Again, though, we'd have to sort of bring our level threes with us. And we still, we've still got plenty of level twos to level up. And I kind of want to focus on getting everyone to level three before we go in with, um with our level 3 quests and get people over leveled. We've already got a few people at level 4. We kind of want to get everyone to level 3 before we start reaching people up to level 4. So let's try and bring out some of the people that are much less used. I'm just I, the, the only thing I'm worried about is just how our healing situation looks right now. 
It's we've we've not got a lot of low level healers, and that's a problem. We're we're we're, we're struggling. We're going to be struggling to keep people alive unless they have some self heal or self sustain, should I say? Um, let's go with this medium level two. We're going to be getting the librarian's puzzle box, which is really good. Um. Extra chance of party surprise, but extra scouting chance and less chance of monsters. A minus 10% chance of monster surprised. Oh, wait. That's not very really good. Okay. E either way, we're going to go for this one. Uh, and we're going to take... Sabrina's going to go back line. Ash can go in front. Yeah, Ash can go in front. We do have the thing from the stars. I don't know what that is. I don't know what the thing from the stars is, and I'm a bit scared to go to go after it. Um, we're gonna need some pretty heavy healing here, right? Let's have a look. So, one thing I haven't checked: can level three characters come on level two missions? They can. Okay, because level three, if we go to a level three mission here, level two characters, level three characters can't come on level one missions. Sorry. So, if we go here, look. We'll say they say they weren't, but they can come on level two missions. That's really important to note. So I think we'll go with. Um, oh, look at everyone so close to level two, so close. Um, William's a, a decent healer. I think we'll bring William along with us. Uh, although we've got to remember that he has the embrace. So he has this stun chance, he has this, he has, yeah, let's take them. It's good. And then, who else are we bringing? So you're at the front line with your slasher, hot-headed repost. It does f pull you forward one. Cure Blight and Bleed and buff yourself for some resists. And Red Hot Perker, we have that. Suffer 8 HP damage. He has 30 HP, so that's pretty decent. Okay, let's let's go incinerate. We can oh we'd no no we can't use incinerate. We'd have to move ourselves back one. In fact, okay. It's kind of it's kind of getting a bit funky this organizing all of this, but let's put him there. Let's take off this because it push, pushes us forward one. Go with that, maybe? That looks like a pretty good one. Bleed chance, of course, doesn't really help us too much here, but the minus speed debuff is nice. Um, and then, who do we want up front? Do we want Dai? Dai is, like, insanely good. He he does a lot of damage. Uh, we, do, we do need to bring Sophia out again soon as well. Sophia is a class that I underrated and have been shown the ways of by um, Orbital Potato. He's uh, another YouTuber that's, uh, like, part of the crew with um, Retromation and stuff, but I've been watching him play this game with mods on stream, and he highly rates this uh, class, so... This might be one that we need to look into a little more. But let's let's think. Who do we want to bring out with us? See, red's interesting, but red focuses really on bleeding, and I don't really want to bring out a bleed-based character with us. We could go with Eon as... As our character here. Pin down. Can't really do anything with that. Do you know what? Let's go with Eon. And let's... Um, let's start him off in the back with Onslaught. Bring him out. Because we haven't brought him out in a little while. I can't believe all of these. All of these are locked in. Crazy. Right. And let's, let's have a look at what we want to trinket people up with. So, you're obvious. We can, we can easily sort you out. So, sort by rarity. Go with the extra healing skill... The yips, less accuracy. Okay, that doesn't actually matter. Um, his maximum HP is not good. What what disease does he have right now? It's this, isn't it? It's being buffed by twenty percent by his disease. It's a it's a risky one, but I think we do need to take this with us. We need that extra healing, even with him only having twenty HP now, which is admittedly pretty awful. Um, then Sabrina here. Got to remember, she's going to get pushed back one, but she's going to be... Let's have a look. Volley. Yeah, let's go with Volley, shall we? And Adapt as well. 
we can switch between the two. Right, okay, and then she's going to be wanting to do decent damage. Our main damage dealer will we'll trinket him up first because we kind of we kind of know how to how to mess with that. Hmm. Does it matter if he goes first or not? Or do we want him having like super high accuracy and a bit of extra speed? Him having speed doesn't mean much. That's that's the thing. So I don't really think we want to go with that. So let's go with his crits. Crits okay. So we'll up his crit there. Um, and then we'll do it. We'll you know, we'll do it again. We'll do the same one as last time. I like these boots. This combo is really good. A lot of crit, a lot of damage, bit of extra accuracy. That them them two trinkets together makes for some good stuff. Um, slightly less dodge, slightly more accuracy. We have got some falconier trinkets here. Um, let's just go with class specific so we can see if there's any other falconier trinkets we want to be using. So we've got extra damage and crit while stealthed, extra dodge. Right, let's go with the extra dodge, because that's definitely helpful. And what else do we want? It's really hard to, to trinket people up, you know. <laughs> it's like the hardest bit about this. Let's go with some self-healing, shall we? Um, And then you, we probably want, like, do you know what, actually? I've decided something. I've, I'm changing my mind again. In fact, you're going to get this. You're going to get the crazy high damage and crit. Although that does lower your speed drastically. And your dodge. Nope. I'm changing my mind again. Because <laughs> you still keep some dodge and some speed, whereas you don't, right? Let's uh, let's plan around you. So, do we have anything that's like, on the first round, we get a big bonus? Um, I think we do have some class-specific trinkets here. So, let's have a look at those. We have two of these now. Plus five dodge, plus three crit. That's actually pretty good. We'll take that. Um, and... We always want to be... We always want to be doing stuff on the first round, so we do not want this on him. We need some general, like, damage up sort of thing. So, he's getting dodge, he's getting crit. We could do to boost his crit, really, but we don't really have anything to do that with. Uh, plus... Plus 20 damage and accuracy. Let's go with that and go with a really good first round because I'm pretty sure Onslaught hits like... It hits one target, but that'll be like crazy good damage. And then I think we take off the party heal and go with this. Okay, let's try that out. It's a bit of a weird group, but let's try that out. And let's go with... 20 food again. Five shovels. No, we got four shovels. And then three of everything. And 20 of these. Good, good, good. And we do have some more backstory from TEA. This one here is for Yatsu the sisters. My sudden blackouts are becoming more problematic. Most notably during combat, where I'd come to only after my allies have done their work. I must find the cause of this. And then we have another one by uh, uh, TEA for Kuro, a wraith. People in the town have been giving me looks, either of distrust, disgust, or hate. Maybe I'm not searchable enough. It's so strange and sudden. He is not sure why people are leaving him. So we ha we do have to worry about this. He is uh, he has got this um, he's got this problem of uh, of having a few extra things knocked on by the disease. He does have this really good stun resist and bleed resist, but his his blight resist is pretty bad. His maximum HP is terrible, but he uh, he has these skills which are going to be really really nice. Just got to realize that we're going to be debuffing speed all the way through this. Explore 90% of rooms. So we have to go both these ways over here. But I, I, genuinely, I genuinely think this this crew we've got going on could be pretty good. I'm a little worried for if we come across this thing right here. Because I've never fought this in my life and I have no idea how to beat it. So that's good. We could we could take some serious damage here. Um, wasn't wasn't expecting that. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, right. So gonna buff you 
let's just do adapt and change over. So that instead is going to lower your dodge and speed. Yeah, let's go with that. And a crit as well. We need to kill this thing fast because I do not know how this thing works. It's fixing shard. That's a lot of stress. Return to the stars. That's a that's a thing. Oh my god. Let's keep doing that. Stab you. I don't know what this thing does. I probably want to destroy it, but I'm going to wait for this guy to do that. There you go. Of course you crit on it as well, didn't you? Oh my god, this scared the sh- As if I was talking about it, and it's the first thing we came across. I I've never fought this thing or seen this thing in my life. That seems to damage him. Stacking this is really nice. Nice dodge. Only one damage. I think it- Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Plus 80 per- What? Okay, this is bad. Armor piercing. It's our only way. It's our only way to beat this. We're going to have to wait for... Oh, thank God we dodged that. This is our only way. We've got to use that armor piercing to our, to our best advantage. Okay, let's try and take that thing out with everyone else. Everyone else's focus is these crystals. You with your red hot poker. Nice. Why are they always crit against that? What the hell? Barbell strikes. Don't. Not him. Not him. He's the only one that can take you down. And of course he doesn't crit this time. Please don't hurt me. He almost died to that. Nice heal. Don't feel good about this. Have to say, I don't feel good about this. We got the sky tin. Oh my god. Well, this has gone less, less good than I was hoping. We got him, but my god, was that tough. Oh my god, we got 25 comet shards. Oh my god, that was, that was, that was kind of brutal. But this is literally our first bit of combat. Wow. Okay, so people ain't looking too hot right now. People ain't looking too hot. We'll carry on. Hope we don't die. Can you, can you stop being, right, let's do this. Can you stop being blighted, please? I can't believe that. Oh my god, dude. Not the right time to be fucking getting hit like that. Oh my god, we could so lose someone here. I'm taking a risk by going in and trying to get some regular healing. That's not good. Okay, nice. Oh, my God. I'm so very scared here. Nice hit. So very scared. Don't heal him. I need to get healing out. Stop stressing everyone out. We haven't- we had enough of this stress. Look at everyone. Two! You healed for two! Oh my god. You heal, you heal for so much and you healed for two. Nice crit. Heal ourselves up. Wow, I can't believe how close that was then. Nice crit. Yes, Ash. That wasn't too bad. Your stress is getting awfully high though, dude. Come on, please. You can heal for up to eight. Stop healing for three. Okay, everyone's health's looking way better now. I'm just scared, all right? I'm just scared. Oh my god. Right. We can probably do like one or two more rooms before we have to camp. This might be one that we have to ditch though. Do we... If we ditch, do we get to keep these? We, we better do. That's a lot of shards. It's a lot more than we've had up to now. We've got 12 at the moment, I think. 
But stress is uh, is uh, is at an all time high for this group. The more rooms we can get to before camping, the better. We should be able to rip off a decent amount of stress by camping. Although I am worried about our food situation. We haven't got exactly. We haven't got a lot. If this room doesn't have combat, that would be fantastic. Oh, thank God you dodged that. My God, stop getting hit by traps. It doesn't. That's so good. Okay, right. Okay, more rooms with no combat is really good for us. Stop with the hunger checks. Please. That's three in like two seconds. We don't have enough food to sustain this game. We need the eight food healing stress heal. Oh my god. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Right. Okay, we did get combat and we did get stress dealers. Thank god we got the upper hand here. You're in the wrong position. Please stun them. Oh, you missed. God damn it. God damn it. Please say we can kill that last one before. Nope, we probably can't here. More stress incoming. Please, please kill it. No! We need the crit. Incoming stress. Oh my god. Terrible. Terrible. We do have some stress reduction here, but it's not enough to sustain us. Especially when we're getting critical hits like that. God. Stop, sir. Stop. My god. This has been a very stressful situation. Right. We gotta camp. I've gotta take a risk. And do the do the eats because we need the healing, but we have very little food left now. Um don't think we have present nighttime ambush either, which is lovely. Oh we do, we do. Oh no! Sabrina! I just realized Sabrina has that camping thing where she might have to fight people. Oh no. Um, let's go with that. We need it. Oh my god. So bad. And everyone just has pep talk. God damn it. Right. Pep talk you. Pep talk you. Do you know what? I'll go with that good enough. Please don't fight the bloody Talon Brigands. Thank God. Holy heck. So we've all got less accuracy, but we got like massive stress reduction and healing received. Like you have minus 50% stress, so I should hopefully help out. God damn, this was this has been a, a worrying time. We'll probably get a few a few stress checks here. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. It's nice. Bit more loot. One of these bad boys. Get rid of that stress a bit, shall we? Oh, I keep forgetting to bloody send you to the back. Probably should have got rid of the stress dealer first, shouldn't I? To be fair, though, I don't know how much damage this thing does. Okay, pretty low damage with a higher bleed by the looks of things. Yeah, nice. Get rid of you before you do much. You get two moves in a row. Okay, lovely. That didn't go too badly at all. Uh, get rid of that. Take that. Please don't say there's combat in here. Thank you. My. Good. Golly. Gosh. Who'd have thought this would have been a, such a stressful mission? I thought this was going to be kind of a breeze for these guys. Guys and gals. Oh, there's a, there's a food check. Oh, we picked up some more food. I didn't realize we picked up more food. At some point, we got some extra. That has kind of saved our rear because we were running extremely low. Oh, no. No. Leave him alone. Okay, he took zero stress from that. I think. You need the healing and the stress reduction, so let's go with that. 70, it, it took like two stress there. So you need to go. Right, you need to go. You don't quite have enough damage on Sabrina here to make this work. I keep forgetting to send him to the back before combat. I need to do that. It's so valuable. 
Get that stun on you. Nice stun. Finish you off. And strike you. And then Eon will take out the back line. Didn't kill him, surprisingly. Didn't kill him. Right, rearrange party, remember. Hey. Um, we'll get rid of them and them. Right, just two more rooms. That's so good, right. But 25 stress reduction, 30. Great, everyone's a bit more... He was the only one that was really high on stress, so I'm, I'm feeling a little bit better after that. Feeling a little bit better. Oh my god. Okay, we've got two more battles. Two more bouts of combat. Freaking treasure it again. Okay, nice. Kill him as fast as we can. We got the surprise as well, which is good. Okay, I got the damage off on him. He dodged it. Can't hit him. Okay, he's probably going to escape, I, I'd reckon. Dodged it. Yeah, I'd reckon he's going to escape. He, he, if we don't kill him in one more move, we don't get him. And he's far away. He's probably going to escape here. There you go. He's gone. Oh, no. He just hit cover me. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Um, we can stun him. Oh, he's got such high dodge. I don't care. I'm going for it. He dodged it again. Oh, my God. The, the, the dodge master. The absolute master of dodge. I know we have less accuracy, but come on now. Of course, this guy that's on death's door, and we've got no way of healing him up. Look at him. He's so low. Amus. Goodbye. This guy could die. We, we messed up real bad here. Right, we've got no way of healing him. We'll, cu we'll cure him, though. Please don't die. Please don't die, sir. Okay, we should be okay now. We should be okay now. God damn it. I tried to use incinerate to get that guy before he went. It just didn't work. Oh, every step of the way has been stressful here. Okay, I've got another bit of combat here. I'm a little worried for this, to be honest. I'm actually going to... I'm actually going to move you back to the front here. Fucking move to the front, you dick. I'm going to move him to the front here because even though we won't get our initial, we need him to be able to heal off the bat before anything else. We've probably just lost him. That, that thing right there. We found one of these the other day. They are incredibly strong. We need to focus all our firepower on that thing and make sure it only gets one or two hits off maximum. That's that's a good way of starting out. It's going to get one hit off here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. No, it is. It's going to get one hit off. We can't do anything about this. Actually, no. We hit it twice in one turn, which meant it didn't get any moves at all. Okay, that's how you beat those things. That was tough. Oh, my God. That, this has been the most stressful thing of my life. My God. Keep hitting. Stress relief ourselves a bit. We got, um, we got Ash's stress down so quickly. It's impressive, really. I'm very happy with that. Poker on you. Keep going there. There you go. Snuff the light out. Grab this real quick. Right, that went... That went surprisingly well for how badly that all went down. That last fight then scared the bejeebus out of me. But I'm realizing that if you hit one... That, those... Those angel things have two actions per turn. So if you hit them two times before it becomes their turn, it works out. Because they don't get to attack. So you need high speed to beat those. We just lost 
two will the healers. Our level twos are screwed. Can someone give me some advice on what we do with our level twos? Which we have to level, do level two missions with level three heroes, aren't we? But there you go, we made it through. Right, let's just unequip all our trinkets. And actually, first of all, before we before we take these guys off, sort by level. Who really needs stress relief? I think William, you could do with it. Wait, can we get rid of the curse? And you know, it just doesn't matter. We need we need the healing first. You can go prayer. Eon Eon's gonna be fine. Um, Sky Tain, we we're gonna get rid of that. Sky Tain's pretty bad. Get rid of that, and then embark. You two get out there. Can't believe we beat that thing. Literally the first battle we got. It was crazy. And do we have any new new bees coming up? We do have a level one scarecrow. I'd love to take it, but uh, I'm not taking level ones anymore. You're, you're cool and all, but I can't I can't possibly take a level one. It's just not a good idea for us. We do have a level two harlot as well, which isn't really too important for us. And then here we have occultist or antiquarian. Interesting. Um, Demon's Pull. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look at this. So, let's find Ryan. So, Demon's Pull is this one here. Uh, basically, that would up it to normal damage and pull two with clear enemy corpses. That's pretty decent. The negatives would be that he has less melee skills. And then for our Antiquarian, Octavia, wherever she is, Octavia here, um, Blight, and that would be 100% Blight amount applied when applied. Do you know what? Let's take that. Let's buy that out. That could be good. Um... Hmm. Don't think there's anything else we really need there. Right, we can actually afford some of these now, which is interesting, because we've got 37 of these. And there's some interesting ones. So obviously these these really high cost ones we can't we can't get. Uh on kill stress minus two. On kill enemy blight. Enemies blight. Oh my god. On death party stress plus 45. Wow. There's some interesting ones here. Um let's have a look at some of the ones we can afford for now, shall we? So we've got an apostate one, extra damage reflection, uh there's some extra dodge. When hit blight attacker, and when hit buff self. That's really good. Wow. Um bypass stealth, uh less virtue chance, and plus five crit if Shad does an inventory. Uh, the Claimant's Repost has Blight on it with an increased accuracy. Occultist here. Um, I don't know what the Husk is, so I'm not going to worry about that. Extra Stun Chance and Accuracy for the Abomination. Jester here is getting um, extra damage with Loudenum in Inventory and extra Stress Healing. Okay, so we haven't really got too much good there. Um, this one here is insanely good. Like... <sighs> The only downside from that is the minus 10 dodge, right? When hit buff self with extra damage and crit, when hit blight attacker. Like, that sounds, um, with 30% damage reflection, like, is that something I want to buy immediately? I mean, let, let me do a little pause here and go and ask the Discord before we end this off and we'll, uh, we'll get into whether we want to buy that or not. So just one moment. So, surprisingly so, I did ask in my Discord, and people actually suggested that this is good, but apparently this is, like, way better. Apparently it's, like, one of the best trinkets in the game. So we're going to buy that. We're going to grab that up. And now we have that for, um, for our dude Abomination. Because we haven't really been using Abomination too much, uh, Leo here, but apparently this makes him... Just insane. So let's let's actually spend some money on on Leo, shall we? Four thousand five hundred. So minus five dodge is stress of above fifty. Mine. Okay, that's that's both fine. Always sticks close to the exit. It's annoying. Let's get rid of complacent because minus ten accuracy. Actually, how much does the trinket give? Plus 15. I still want to get rid of it. Let's get rid of that. 4,500. 
It's a lot, but we'll get rid of it. And then next, we'll also try and get rid of... Um, spasm of the entrails. We'll also try and get rid of uh, Quick to Run. But yeah, apparently it makes him the best stunner in the game. So we'll definitely stick with that. And I just realized, actually, Leo needs upgrading a bit. But anyways, we'll keep saving up our money. Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. I do think we have one more diary entry left. We have one more. Yeah, we have one. another one from TA. He's been writing tons recently. This is Willow, for Willow our Dark Wraith. Too much time has passed. Very few, few people are arriving by stagecoach now, and the evil surrounds the hamlet has grown so much stronger. Our efforts here were staring at a hornet's nest, and the corruption will spread far beyond the hamlet. Ooh, he's worried. He is worried. But yes, uh, that's another few good ones there, and I'm excited to carry this series on. I hope you guys are too. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.